I'm Dwight Norris of fishnetwork.com and today we're going to be looking at this Zebco KVD spinning reel. As you see here I got it on eBay for a really cheap price. I got four of them actually because I want to have rods uh, set up and ready to go so I don't have to be changing lures all the time when you're a your son or your you're significant other. Well, so let's try this. Let's try that. Let's put on the worm. Let's put on the crankbait. Let's put on the the uh, the rapala minnow. Let's let's try out this new lure. Let's try out the frog. I'm like, oh my god! I'm gonna spend all my time taking the lures on and off, and having an extra set of quality uh, rod and reels, bait casters, whatever you want to use. It's very important. That's why the pros have 10, 15, 20 rods in their boat. They have no time to be changing lures. They can adjust them, add some color to them, trim the, the things up so they're different sizes, but they don't want to be exchanging lures. If they do, it should be a worm. They take off one worm, and they put on another one. It takes two seconds because there's a hook. So it's pretty cool. You see here, it has a little white stopper there. The, uh, see here, it handles 10, eight, and six pound test. It's good. And I like the bottom here. It has this uh, kind of counterbalance and has the bottom stopper. So if you grab it here, it, it's, it's a lot cooler. And I'm not sure about this handle here. It has a hole in the middle, kind of takes away some of the strength and it feels kind of plasticky, but also metal as well. So see here, it's obviously Kevin Van Dam having a good time. He really promotes this. It, it seemed like a good rod. So I'm gonna try it out. It's a five and a half foot medium light glass rod with luminous hole and two bearings. Now, I like my reels to have five to six bearings so they last longer and they're smoother. But for a while, two bearings are perfectly fine and as an extra rod, you can have a good time. I'm using the uh, rod here. It's all ready to go. On the end of it, I have a Rapala x wrap minnow with a little red and flaky sparkly tail. Let's see if I can't get something on this island right here right in the middle of Warren Pond. Seems to be a big rock right there. I just went over a big something. I could have poked my foot. What? Oh. Seems to be a lot of grass in this, like more than I suspected. Thanks for the lookout, Bob. Just in time. 